EU is allowing Dutch trawlermen to electrocute fish in British waters despite ban. The European Commission has been accused of disregarding the findings of its scientists when they signed off on a trial allowing around 100 vessels to make use of illegal electric fishing, primarily in the North Sea. Using the technology is banned in all EU waters, but campaigners and environmental groups, who uncovered the original scientific advice, have blasted the decision by Brussels as a shocking violation of the code of conduct for commissioners. Pulse fishing technology works by sending bursts of electricity into the seabed with the aim of forcing out flatfish such as place and sole which shelter in the mud and sand. But the powerful electrodes can also end up killing cod and other species of fish and not being hunted. And British fishermen have described large parts of ocean as graveyards after foreign drawlers equipped with the kit left the area. Pulse fishing is illegal in EU waters. But following lobbying from the fishing industry in the Netherlands, the Commission granted exemptions in 2006 for mainly Dutch boats to research the effectiveness of the technology. Brussels claimed the relaxation of the rules was in line with scientific advice. But a report published just a month before the Commission's decision warned against allowing a trial. The paper by the EU's scientific Technical and Economic Committee for Fisheries said the effect of pulse fishing on non-target species was still unknown. And it concluded with a recommendation the possible use of the technology be explored further, but added, there are a number of issues that need to be resolved before any derogation can be granted. The report was discovered after an investigation by a team of environmental charities, including the UK-based Blue Marine Foundation which works to promote sustainable fishing. The groups have now written to Carmen Uvilla, the EU's fisheries commissioner, to demand an end to the exemptions. In a letter sent yesterday, they wrote, The European Commission's decision to ignore its own committee of experts and to revoke the ban on electric fishing to satisfy the restricted entered of a pressure group, the Dutch fishing industry, is a shocking violation of the code of conduct for commissioners. Defenders of electric trawling claim that this fishing gear is sustainable only because they compare it to some of the most damaging gear there is, beam trawling, but neither are acceptable fishing methods. Beam trawling involves large nets attached to heavy metal beams being dragged along the seabed and its use has been condemned by environmental groups. A spokesman for the commission insisted it always followed scientific advice and its decision was not influenced by industry lobbying. He added subsequent scientific advice in 2012 and 2016 had supported the use of pulse fishing. The spokesman said, electric pulse stimulation, if properly controlled, may offer a more ecological benign alternative way of fishing by reducing unwanted bycatch, reducing seabed damage and lowering carbon dioxide emissions. The conventional way of fishing by beam trawling has proven to have a negative impact on the ecosystems. 